So today I'm going to show you how to find Pinterest groups that you could join to reach more people and get more attention for your products. And this is how you're able to hijack other people's audiences for your advantage and start driving unlimited traffic to your products or services. So here's the deal. If you join a group, with 20,000 members, every time you share something there, up to 20,000 people might see it. So imagine if you join five groups with 20,000 members each, that's a potential audience of 100,000 people. So I have created a free template with over 100 Pinterest groups that you could join to start promoting your products. So if you are interested in getting this list, simply comment the word group below. So let's go ahead and dive in to get started. And if you have any questions along the way, I'm here to help you. Feel free to ask in the comments below. All right, so the first step that you wanna do is head over to pinterest.com and you wanna make sure that you are logged in into your account. From here, what you wanna do is click on this magnifying glass on the top right corner. And you wanna switch the tab to all pins if it's on your pins at the moment. Now, once you have that done, you wanna go ahead and do a search for the niche that you're in. So let's say that you sell printables for nursery. I will go ahead and do a search for nursery. And you could do this for any type of niche. It doesn't matter what you sell, what products you sell, whether you sell on Etsy, on Shopify, your own website, on Instagram, you could do this. So go ahead and do a quick search. And from here, it's gonna auto-populate all of these pins and videos. Now, the next step that we want to do is we want to click on this little filter right here on the left corner. And from here, you're going to switch it from all pins to boards. This is what we want. To, this is what we're looking for, group boards. Go ahead and click on apply. And this automatically will go ahead and filter all the boards for you. This is going to be so much easier to find those group boards versus trying to do it here where it says all pins because then it's almost impossible. Now, once you're in here, what we're looking for is boards that have multiple profiles. That's how you know it's a group board. When it's like this blank, this is a regular board. Like maybe I have a board like this, right? It's a regular board of someone. So what you wanna do is keep scrolling. And when you find a, a group board like this that has multiple ones, this is most likely a collaboration board. So go ahead and click on it. And when you're looking at these boards, majority of the boards is gonna give you the rules right here. In the actual description box, it's gonna tell you how to apply, what are the rules, what are you allowed to do and not allowed to do. Now this one would be a good board, I mean, in a way it only has two members, but here it does have 28,000 followers. So even though it has low members, a lot of people are following this group. The only thing right now that I'm seeing is that it doesn't look like it's really open. Now you could go ahead and send a message to the person if you wanted to, to see if they are open for collaboration, but it will be a waste of time in my opinion because they don't have it open here. So, or they don't have anything about it here. So what I would do is just move on to the next one there's so many groups. Don't waste your time on groups that don't even have that. And just keep going and keep trying to locate those groups that have multiple profiles. Like I said earlier, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below. And just continue and continue. I'm going to continue here to see if I run into any more. Here's another one right here. Let me go ahead and open this one just to look at it. So this one has two group members, 134 followers. But again, it's, it doesn't seem like it's open, as you can see. Um, so this is not a, another one that I would join or try to even convince them, right, of letting me in. And then I will continue. Here's another one here. Let's go ahead and look at it. One thing I don't like about this one is eight years old and it only has 78 pins. That's an indicator that it doesn't have that much traction. However, it does have a lot of followers. So you kind of have to look at that as well. Now, this one is two members. No one, no direction of whether this is open or not. Um, again, even though it has a lot of followers, again, I wouldn't waste my time with it only because of that. So just continue doing this. It will take time. That's why I created a list 
um, for you already, but this is the way that you would do research. I'm trying to find one that would be a good one so I could show you a good indication of one. So this one is nursery decor ideas from Axie sellers, artists, and loving mamas. This one might be an okay one to kind of join. And the reason I say that is because it has 47 members. It does have 17,000 followers, which is not bad. So when you post in this group, 17,000 potential people will see your post, which is a really good number. And it does say this is for Etsy sellers, artists, and loving mama. So that leads me to believe that they're open to the idea of you joining. So in this scenario, you would have to go ahead and reach out to the person to be accepted in the group. So what I would do is click on this profile right here in the middle right here. And the first person that shows up, that is the owner. That's how you know who's the owner in the group is this person right here. So this is a person that you will click on their profile. You could send them a message up here on the right top corner. Um, a lot of times when you click on their bio, it has their email address as well. So you could definitely reach out to them through Gmail and just send them a quick message saying, hey, I saw your group. I want to see if I could join your group. And you could grab the URL right here and put that in the actual email. And then you can also make sure to include your Etsy store, your Shopify, whatever business you're currently running so they could look at it, review it and make a decision if they want to let you in. So this one is one that I would potentially reach out to because it does have potential. Let's go ahead and continue. Just want to show you one that uh, maybe has the rules in them. So I'm going to continue looking here. And as you can see, it does take some time to start finding these groups. But once you find, I would say at least five really good groups, join those groups. And after 30 days of posting on a consistent basis, look at your analytics and then see, okay, which groups are doing well, which ones are driving you the most traffic engagement, which ones are not. The ones that are not driving you any engagement, go ahead and remove yourself from those groups and find new groups because there's no point of you wasting your time in groups that have very low engagement, even if the followers were really high. So that's the reason why I'm saying you have to remove yourself because eventually it will hurt your conversion rate. So we don't want that. This one is okay group. It has three members only, 268 followers. I wouldn't necessarily join that one. So let's go ahead and continue. I'm surprised I'm striking out on groups. This one only has two members, so I'm gonna continue. Um, for the sake of this video, because nursery is such a huge, huge niche. Um, this one has nine members. Let's see this one here really quickly. And this one has been around, oh, it doesn't tell us how long it's been. Okay, this is a, a, a decent one here. So this one has 207 members. And this says, amazing nursery design and decor ideas for your little ones. Pin your best to inspire everyone, just send me a message if you want to join. So that's the only rule she has. So when you wanna join, you go ahead and click on join right here. And then what you would do is click here to see who is the profile owner, which is this one. Another way to know is the first is the first profile to the left. That is the owner. Every time you look, the, look at the photos, the, the owner is right here. So all you would do, let's say I wanted to join her group, I would click here. This is her account. If it said, follow me, I will follow here, but she didn't say that. So she said, message me. So from here, what I would do is contact and then send her a message. And that's it. This is one of the fastest way to reach your ideal customers for free, especially if you're starting out. Let me know in the comments if you plan to give this a try and make sure to watch these additional videos on the screen to help you build an impactful online business. Thanks for watching.